right, we're going to do another gasifier video tonight. And I've had a few people ask, uh, you know, for me to do a, some videos on gasifier startup and generator startup. And I haven't made any videos for a while on the gasifier. And I figured tonight would be a good night to do that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take some temperature readings with my little digital laser thermometer here. And we'll shoot the floor here. There we go. 53 degrees. And we'll go ahead and shoot the top of the gas fire here. Also 53 degrees. So that gives you an idea, you know, this thing is completely and totally cold. Same ambient temperature as outside. Um, no tricks involved here. This will be a complete and total cold start. So the first thing I do when I fire up my gasifier is you want to plug in your fan. There we go. So the fan's running. And lots of people have asked me, you know, is your fan running when I'm flaring off gas in my videos? Yes, it's running. It's just incredibly quiet. You know, I, I'm probably right now about four inches away with my camera. And I don't know if you'll be able to hear it on the video. It's actually pretty quiet. So the next step after I've got my fan plugged in is I'll open up my ball valve. And what that does is start pulling residual hydrogen through the system to get rid of it. The last thing you want to do is start your fire in your ignition port with residual hydrogen. Uh, you, can, you can see the problem there. So the next thing we're going to do We'll set this camera down over here, kind of pointed at the ignition port. And we'll open up, this is the, this is my design ignition port. The FEMA's on the other side over here. But this is my own design. And this one runs all the way through and into the burn tube. Um, I've talked about it in previous videos. And the purpose of this video is just kind of show how well this ignition port actually works. So I'll grab a little poker stick here. And I just shove it in here a few times to break up any hard charcoal that may be in there. I'll do the same down through the top of the gas fire. Just a couple of pokes down through my fuel. And that's generally enough while that's getting rid of any residual hydrogen. We'll come over here and we'll shake the handle and it'll be stiff at first. Just wiggle it back and forth and it gets easier and easier and easier. Okay. So there that is. So. What we'll do, I'm going to attempt to light this gasifier with nothing more than a piece of paper and one single little match. Uh, hopefully I can do this. It's a little windy tonight, but the purpose of this is, again, just to show how well this ignition port works. So let's give it a try. Just take a piece of paper. Shove it in the hole until you can feel it butt up against the pellets in there. Let's hope this works. It's a little windy, so. One match. You can see it pulling those flames down into the burn tube. And you can see, just like that, we're going. Now, I'm not going to waste your time and let you sit here and watch this thing heat up. Uh, generally, what I do, after I've ignited it like that, I will uh, I'll go have a cigarette. And that's generally my timer. About six minutes or so. Then I'll cap that end, and uh, it'll start choking off oxygen and producing hydrogen at that point. And I'll let it sit about another, oh, I don't know, five or six minutes or so, and then I can flare off gas and it's ready to run. I'll spin over here to the left. And you can see the amount of smoke coming out of my, uh, my suction fan. It's not a very large amount. Uh, it's, it's very little. So I'll try to keep them both in the same picture here. So you can see the burn tube, and you can see it's getting very, very hot inside there. Now, I haven't seen too many videos on YouTube of uh, people starting their gasifier with one single solitary match. So I thought that might kind of be a real testament to how well my, my design ignition port really does work. So, there it is. 
I'm going to go ahead and kill the video and uh, we'll take off again here in a few minutes after it's up to temperature.